Hey, down here. Okay, I'm back. Go back to work on the dryer. <coughs> now I'm gonna have to have a drink. <coughs> right now, <coughs> choking. <coughs> okay. Uh, get this stuff moved off the top of the dryer. Let's see. I think I better put this, uh, I don't know that I'm going to be driving any more 7 16 bolts, nuts, what have you. So, oh, let me put this, I, I don't, I, you know, if I leave it laying around there like that, I'm liable to kick it over and break that, uh, I don't, I don't know. Right now, I don't know anything. <laughs> I'm trying to get my head back together. But uh, that won't stay there. I guess I'll put it there. Yeah, that'll be all right. Keep it nice and warm. Uh, it. Oh, that's where the heat comes right out. That's a little too warm. A little too warm. Okay. Uh, the heat comes out of the bottom. Of all things, the heat comes out of that heater I showed it or why well, it didn't really show it but the heat comes out of the bottom of it which I guess makes sense you know then it has to rise a little another two foot to, to go on up above you but it doesn't look like that's what it would do but the top of that thing it looks like it has it's got a, a fake fire you know with lights but it actually looks really pretty and with all the lights out it if you set the speed just right it looks like fire it, and it's the simplest thing it's a a tube with, uh, well, I won't go into it. I'll just be going in circles in my brain here. Tool, tool, tool. I don't have another place to set it. What's that? Oh, yeah, my glue. That's just where my new parts came from. Okay. Well, maybe I can set it in there. Yeah, I can set it in there. Okay, now here's the rest of my new parts. Let's just look, them, look at them one more time like I haven't already done it hundred times but uh, yeah nothing else in that envelope so we won't really be needing that anymore the old uh, old parts go back in the box in case there's any emergency repairs that needs to be done got an old belt an old pulley that still works just fine and uh, now here's my the rest of my new parts. I've got. Well, I need the belt out of there, so I'll just pull them out and look them over again. So, uh, I kind of saw some diagrams in that little how-to, that little manual. Yeah. Okay. So we got the glue. Yeah, it's not. It's not hard. That's right. I've had it for a long time. Yeah. It's okay. Forgot I bought it two years ago. <laughs> yeah. So with the top felt with the plastic wishings i guess for the drum to ride on yeah, I, those i really need now this one here i'll i'll look it over uh the door over and see if i actually but the thing is if i'm going to put one on why not put them both on is what i'm thinking get it all in good shape uh i thought it might be a real pain but i don't think it's actually going to be all that bad just put some gloves on so you don't get that nasty glue. That, that's, I think it's quick drying glue. Probably something like model airplane glue, you know. And uh, so you don't get that all over your uh, fingers and can't get it off. But uh, what I'm going to do is put the... Uh, I'm gonna put the drum. I'll put the belt on the drum and put the drum back in here. Let's see. Oh, I will have to get down on the floor to hook it up to the. Again, to hook it up. We'll do that when I get to that. When I get that far. So let me think. Okay, so if I put my new belt on the drum. Yeah, it's got ribs on one side, so I want to turn it that way. The ribs. On the inside, so that they ride on the uh, there's ribs on the pulley on the motor for them to ride in. 
There we go. Let's see what brand that is. This is a WCO 13450360. That's the part number. Made in the USA. How are we doing? All this stuff is made in the USA. And then we've got oh, some more numbers. D6032019007. 0450951. I didn't see a brand though. Might be another spot. Oh, there's only writing in one area, I think. Sure is. You know, most fan belts like you get on a for a car. <clears throat> they uh, have writing every so often, or or, or do they? I may be thinking of uh, wiring. Wiring has writing every foot or so, has its ID information. Right, wiring that has that. <laughs> Not all wiring has that. Like you know, like maybe like wiring for you know DC wiring for using the car for DC wiring. But uh, anyway. Get this belt. Let's see. <clears throat> I'm gonna have to lay it down somewhere. I turned that. Oh yeah, you can still see, kind of see the drum area here. <clears throat> Just get the drum and put it in the position that it's gonna be in. And I'm gonna probably have to go ahead and put the belt on there before I roll it that way. to go that way whoops but not that much I have just enough room to get that drum in front of there and uh, I was trying to not completely cut my head off but it's really you know to see what I'm doing I'm gonna have to to show what I'm doing Oop. there we go yeah Okay, so guess I'll just do it that way. Uh, yeah, you just you just uh, I use the drum to help you pick it up. Actually, I still probably ought to be. Yeah, I think no, I can do it this side. I guess. I guess it really matters. Get it on there, and then I'll I'll make sure it's straight. I think it's, it's kind of bent as it is being brand new. I'm going to have to roll it a few rolls to get it straight uh, before I or pull it, kind of pull it like I was doing a minute ago. I still feel like I need to be the other way. Let's try it and see. Oh, yeah, I do. I really didn't want to get it wet and dirty, but the belt. But, uh, yeah, it's flipped right now. Let's set it right, it's a corner on there, and then I'll do this. And flip it. Hopefully, if I keep on going, it'll... Yeah. Yeah, it's better than trying to do it with it down in the dryer. I was thinking I was going to do it with it in there. Keep going until I see the writing again, make sure. There we go, there's my writing. Okay. So to see now I can once I get it up in there I can pick it up. Well, it helps. It helps right now. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now I got to get it under that. Try not to twist it. Okay. Uh, let me give that one more look. I just remembered that piece of wiring insulation I dropped. Make sure it's not in that open motor. I don't think so. I never did see it, but you know, that's not unusual. There was something else I thought might have fell down in there. Oh, I guess it was that screw, and then I found out there was a bunch of screws missing on there. So I'm putting all the line back up there. I guess I could use it right now. Well, it's not going to really... Okay, everything's all fixed up back there. Because <sighs> what I'm going to do is give it a trial run. Now, uh, don't 
Well, I need more light than that. I can't really get the camera in there. As soon as this goes in its place, you can't see. Can you hold this light just for a second? Hold it. Well, I'll grab it and then I'll tell you where to put it. I need to see down in there. Right there. But you got to be back where I can get my hand over in here. I think that was it. Feels like it. Okay. Thank you. Came at just the right time. It's hung. Thank you. Couldn't get it up to hang it up. It would turn off. Huh? Oh, I turned it off. Oh. <clears throat> okay, cool. Uh, I was sitting there going like, how am I going to see that? Because I couldn't set the light anywhere. And then my mom walked out the door. Uh, I hesitated to ask her because, <clears throat> you know, I shouldn't want to bother her, but... Uh, and, and I never know how, she she gets real weak, you know, and I don't, didn't know how she was feeling. But she's been running out, she's been in and out that door several times in the last couple of hours. So she's running around doing stuff. Okay, so uh, let's get the, uh, get the door, bring it over. And uh, what I'm thinking I'm going to do, all I like is the felt. Uh, so what I'm thinking I'm going to do is, uh, let me check that belt one more time. Because it could have flipped somewhere and I won't be able to tell <coughs> with it uh, <coughs> from down below. <coughs> So, uh, yeah, it looks good. <sighs> Taking like it wants to twist. <sighs> so, let me get a drink. <sighs> uh, I'm going to go ahead and put the door on. And give it a test run. Because it would be, you know, really not much use in going ahead and putting all that felt on and waiting for it to dry till tomorrow. Just to find out it actually is not going to work. <sighs> but I do want to put that felt on if I... Hopefully everything goes good and I can put that felt on. And then let it dry overnight. I mean, hopefully I'll even put some of my JB Weld in the, in the dollar knob and make fix it up. Let's see... It looked like I had this thing upside down, but it didn't. This thing, this one and this one, this one's almost completely gone, worn through. This one is. Well, that one's pretty bad, too. It's cracked all to pieces. So, uh, that other point, the inner felt looks really good. But, oh, yeah, you couldn't get this off of that inner felt. They're glued together. So, yeah, I do it all. And uh, there is a little bit of dust right up here. I want to wipe off. I just wiped off what was left of that plastic. I got the, one of my I got my smaller trash can and put it over there. Mm. It's not clean, but it's not filthy either inside of there. Yeah, that's all right. So, but I need to put, i got a clip in my box of parts, I'm going to say my clip, a uh, door clip, let's see, I believe they go on the door, yeah, they go on the door, so, uh, yeah, this one here, this one's always falling off, now what's funny is I got one right there, that uh, 
Uh, I guess that's why I put it there. Uh, because the door, that's where the door pulls on it when you're opening the door. It made it pretty hard to get it out of there. And I was thinking about leaving it, moving it or leaving it off. But that's where it should be. And then there, there should be another one on the other side, but it's lost and gone. Probably broke. Oh, the screws. Need to find the right screws. I'll need them in hand. Let's flip this down and find those screws. Guess I'll do the old dump again. The old screw dump, dump. Why am I having so many extra screws? You're not supposed to have that many extras, are you? That one's shorter. That might be them right there. I think that's them. Let's keep going and look up at them. I'm trying to think now. Those are the ones that held on. The old ones that held, and there's some parts, and there's one that doesn't match. <coughs> that actually is one of these that was holding my homemade bushing on there. I missed the trash can a while ago. It's too little. I'm used to that big one, fit 60 gallon trash can. You can just throw in the general direction. Yeah, that needs to go on there. Okay. What's that one for? Oh, that's one of the old ones for putting on the, uh... Okay, so these two, I think, go in the door. These four... Oh, they hold the back on. Now, what do these three bigger ones go to? There wasn't three in the door, was there? I don't think I'll just throw them back in the box this time, because... Well, how am I going to do this? I really just need them lined up as they are. This can go in my pocket. Okay, here's what I'll do. These big ones, I'm going to put on this side. These two little ones, I'll put on this side. These four, I know now they go to the back. Now, let's work with my nut driver. I need to get the right size nut driver out. <sighs> Scratch all might be helpful. I don't have some of my other pants had two side pockets. But you can't put these in your pocket without poking yourself at some point though. Always will. Okay, that one is, whoa, uh, I forgot that I wasn't even in the picture anymore. Okay, yeah, this one that's on here goes to these smaller ones, which there's two of, so I'm pretty sure those are the ones for the door. When I open that up, I'll find out. And those bigger ones, <clears throat> I need to have a nut driver for them if I'm, for when I need them, need it. Yeah, there we go. I'll put that in my pocket, I guess. So it'll be together with those things. Okay. <coughs> One more drink. Alright, now. That thing is... Trying to make sure it's in the off position. There, I know that's off. Okay. <clears throat> I think I'll turn this light on and hopefully it'll throw a little light in the area where I need it. Got it a little further back than I. Okay, I'll put that in there. <clears throat> now. <clears throat> 
<clears throat> yeah, it would really be a horrible idea to put that together without that top piece on for sure. So I th I'm planning on just putting, I got the brand new felt for the whole thing, so I'm planning on putting it on there. But first I'm going to test it and make sure that it even works. doesn't want to go in on that. There's little hooks down there at the bottom you got to hit. Oh, there's one. Let's see if I can get the, oh, the door shut. The door opened and I shut it and shut on my shirt tail. I don't think you can do that side first. I think you do have to do this side first. Or maybe both of them at the same time. tricky to get on there. There. Kind of lifted up on the right side and then it went on. Okay, now this one. Oh yeah, now we've got the problem of this. Oh, that's what it's doing. You gotta lift up on the drum and get it over the Oh, fell out. That's why I wear gloves. Not only do you get pinched a lot, actually you don't have to hit it. You can just, it's kind of not, it's kind of out of square. That's what it is. Well, I didn't think you had to hit it. Oh, I'm not lifting up on the drum. There you go. There. Now, oh, they both went in there. Okay, good. Yeah. But they don't usually, well, they did clip in. Yeah, okay. But I wouldn't move it or anything until you get those screws in there. So let's get these little screws and see if they're going to be the right ones. And that's what the scratch all was for, to kind of make sure that it's all lined up. And it wasn't, so... Of course, you have to take it back out. Let's see if I can get a screw in this side with the scratch all in on that side. See if that helps or hurts or what. I kind of need the this. It's it's not strong enough magnet to hold it, like I said before. And that you know that quarter inch nut driver I have. I wonder if it's magnetized strong. If it ain't, it should be. Uh. Just remember that's what I used to get them out with. Let me go see. That's a quarter inch, I believe. Uh, my dad gun chair is hooked to my toolbox. Oh. Of all crazy things. These these are a couple office chairs over here. I don't know if you ever saw them in the video. Nope, it's not magnetized at all. I don't want to go to the Still might be easier to get it started with. It, uh, the, the lift up and down lever was hung on the handle on my rolling toolbox. Yeah, this is where I need magnetized nut drivers bad. Okay, I think I got it in there. Okay, I'll leave it kind of loose so that it, if it needs to wiggle, I need to line that one up. But, well, let's try tightening it and make sure it's the right screw. 